we look around America today, we see not through the eyes of someone who has benefited and enjoyed the fruits of Americanism. We only see through the eyes of someone who has been the victim of Americanism. We don't see any American dream. We've only experienced the American nightmare. We haven't benefited from America's democracy. We've only suffered from America's hypocrisy. And the generation that's coming up now, they see it. <laughs> and they are not afraid to say it. If you go to jail, so what? If you're black, you were born in jail. 22 million victims, black victims of Americanism are waking up and they are developing this new political consciousness, becoming politically mature. And as they grow and develop this political consciousness, they are able to see the recent trends in these elections. They see that the whites are so evenly divided and that the race is so close that they have to go back and count the votes all over again. Which means that any minority, any minority that has a block of votes that stick together is in a strategic position. Either way you go, that's who gets it. You get to decide who goes to the White House and who will stay in the doghouse. You have that power. This is why I say it's either the ballot or the bullet. It's liberty or death. It's freedom for everybody or freedom for nobody.